Mega Man X, everybody. is the first of a new generation of robots which contain an innovative new feature the ability to think feel and make their own decisions the old Mega Man characters couldn't do that it was all a lie if X were to break the first rule of robotics a robot must never harm a human being the results would be disastrous and I fear that no force on earth could stop him approximately 30 years will be required before we can safely confirm his reliability Unfortunately, I will not live to see that day, nor do I have anyone to carry on my work. Therefore, I have decided to seal him in this capsule, which I will test his internal systems until his reliability has become has been confirmed. Please do not disturb the capsule until that time. Thomas Light. Yes. X possesses the greatest risks as well as the greatest possibilities. I can only hope for the best. Goodbye. So, uh, you know what Dr. Kane did after hearing this message? He immediately started replicating uh, X and did not at all, at all, pay any attention to the warning. None of these other reploids, as they were called, were put through any kind of tests. So, in other words, when they malfunctioned, they went maverick, and a lot of them went maverick now let's see here dash should be put onto r good that should do it we should be good to go and play the mega man game let's go most iconic stage will be remixed forever try to go left can't go left can only go right it's fine though yeah, I much prefer high quality 2D sprites over low quality 3D models. And unfortunately, the X series was put in an awkward position where it transitioned from high quality uh, 2D to low quality 3D. The uh, X2 and X3, the quality got better and better until like X3 hit peak. And then X4, unfortunately, went for a downgrade when they upped the resolution, which arguably wasn't a good thing. That said, the gameplay of X4 was delightful, and I love it. In fact, I love X4, 5, and 6's games. I just think that uh, 1, 2, and 3 have a better aesthetic to them. I think that the artwork was better done on the earlier games. But yeah, these bees are a nice tutorial because you figure out that you have to do certain things. Like uh, these little walkers here, you have to shoot their heads, stuff like that. But I mean, obviously we're too fast for that. We've already left them behind. It's no problem. I am gonna turn down the game sound slightly just because as glorious as it is, it was uh, a little bit on the high side. There we go. And you can see we've got falling platforms now. That is a Mega Man staple. Thankfully, they don't use falling platforms as much in X as they do in the classic games. Classic games, they got disappearing platforms, and they make me uh, very sad. Very sad. All right. Could have cars now. Yes. Cars. Amazing. Ah, uh, I did too much damage. I was going to ride on the car. Let me try to do it again. Let me see if the game will let me ride on the car. I don't think it will, but let's give it a try. Eh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, well. Let's go. I say that, but here we are. <laughs> yes. That's pretty amazing. 
Okay, we gotta destroy cars now to activate the next scene. Yes. Excellent. We can beat anything. This guy can't stop us. Unless this is a scripted battle we're meant to lose. Ha ha ha. It's fine. See, no problem. Hmm. <clears throat> You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you think you could defeat me? Cue the hero. Guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. You shouldn't expect to defeat him. He's designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached your full power yet. If you use all of the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. And that's the prime motivation for the video game. It's to play through it and eventually reach the point where you're as strong as Zero and be able to blow away the boss's arm like that. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. That's your player motivation right there. Now, we've got bosses. We also got a world map, which shows us where the bosses are. And then we have specs for the bosses. See? Amazing. And who do, who do these specs help? Nobody. Absolutely nobody. But imagine if these robots uh, actually weighed that little, like... 237 pounds? That's a light robot. They must be using, like, space-age plastics or something. Super thin titanium skin? I don't even really know. Anyway, uh, point is, we're gonna start off with the penguin. Yeah, this canonically takes place, like, 20 years after the um, original Mega Man series. But you have to wonder, the original Mega Man characters didn't have any, um, uh, any, any kind of a, um, you know, self-determination or anything. They, they literally just slaves to their programming, I guess. And so you have to wonder how that works then. What with, uh, you know, uh, Rock Man or Mega Man being, uh, so much better than all the other robots in terms of his, uh, capabilities. Yes. You thought they made a clean slate? Nope. No, no. Dr. Wily created Zero and uh, Dr. Light created X. They are destined to fight. Yep. They even confirmed that in the Power Fighters 2 where you see Zero schematics on Dr. Light's table when he tells uh, Forte or uh, Bass if you, you play the, the dub um, how insignificant he is compared to his true masterpiece he's working on. Yep, yep. Okay. Power Fighters 2 is a fighting game. A Mega Man fighting game. Yes, indeed. Okay. Good. Didn't think I was going to make that one. But I did. Fuck! <laughs> Here's Dr. Light. So you've come. Damn right. X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I'd hope the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now it seems that you are destined to fight. 
because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule. And receive the acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. Yeah, I, I kind of know that, that dialogue already. <laughs> Alright. Game's different now. Behold. We'll be moving like this for the rest of the game. Yep. All future Mega Man games start with this upgrade already. So it's not a big deal. It's just, uh, you know, the, you, uh, you gotta go this stage first, otherwise it's a pain in the ass. All right. Mecha Robot time! There'll be another guy in a mech here. You'll see him in a second. There he is. If you don't have the mech, he'll be sitting outside of his mech and you can kill him and steal it. If you give him enough time, he will jump into the mech and then you'll have to fight him in the mech outside of your mech. And that sucks. But uh, that, that's how the function works. Oh boy. I have never gotten pelted by those snowball guys quite as much as I just did. All right. Damn it. Well, that's the boss room, at least. Here to fight a penguin. Let's do it. Yes, yes, yes. No, thank you. Yeah, I've seen that before. No, goodbye. Yep, seen that happen. Ha <laughs> ha, no thanks. Uh, didn't expect that. I thought I would at least hit him. Yeah. Oof. I'm gonna get killed by ice little freezy pops. Yeah, that's that's not what I was expecting. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> not quite. But we got him. First boss down, spark mandrels next. Yes. Bosses get weird throughout the series. Sometimes they're hard, sometimes they're easy. Shotgun ice. Okay, next. Spark Mandrel. So, an interesting thing, if you look at the map, um, you see this ship? This ship can crash land. If you beat this boss, this ship can crash land into this plant and uh, cause the stage to be different. Additionally, uh, this guy's plant here, can, if you beat uh, Chill Penguin, for whatever reason, he'll get frozen over. It's very inconsistent. But, um, yeah, our primary goal is usually to get the um, upgrade parts first. But I can't for the life of me remember what order or where they are. I know the helmet's over here. Did launch Octopus Flux Chameleon? Hmm, interesting. But yeah, they, like the, depending on the order you do things in, things turn out differently, which is cool. Um, okay, this is a light man stage, the tower. This is the fire base. I need the helmet before I go here, so I'm actually going to do things kind of out of order. I'm going to go over here and get the helmet. Um, I think that's what I need for the helmet. Well, either way, we'll get a heart tank here. Yes. I am. It's good. It's good stuff. Yeah, Flames Mammoth stage. You're right. You're right. 
I'm not an authority on these video games. I enjoy them a lot. But I am by no means a uh, super fan who plays them constantly. All right. Well, oh boy. I'll get this eventually. Okay, we're gonna leap off the edge here as soon as it hits peak. There we go. Bam, heart tank. Yes. I mean, I can, I'll be very wrong throughout the series, and that's fine. I'm still planning on playing, like, all of it, but that's, that's because I'm insane. And I said, you know, I really want to do a playthrough of Gunvolt. And then I said to myself, I can't do a playthrough of Gunvolt. I need to do a playthrough of the X series first, and then maybe the Zero series, because I'm stupid. And so here we are, playing the X series. Because I want to play Gunvolt eventually. <laughs> All right. Do, 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 right. I'm not a huge fan of where they went with the Zero series. Um, I thought it would have been really cool when they showed Omega. That Omega would have been uh, like classic Zero from the X series. That would have sealed it for me. I think I, I, I would have I would have forgiven all of the bad shit had they used the original Zero character design for Omega. Like, I, I would have immediately forgiven everything I didn't like about it. Just for that one thing. Anyway, we gotta destroy this. Hold on. Yep. Come on! Wham. That's just a health up. I thought I was supposed to get a cool big thing. What are we doing with this game? Okay, we got we go down here. Uh, there it is. Cool. Jumpy, jumpy. Mainline X. Yes, that is the coolest zero. This capsule contains an enhancement for your helmet, which will allow you to break some ceilings with a headbutt. Bam. Cool. Yep, and that's what we need to get the arm parts. Yes. Uh Oh shit, X3 to uh, sorry 0304. Yeah, the guardians died off screen, you're right. I always thought it was weird the way Shadow died but the others didn't. I always thought that was really strange. Um And um I know they just turn them all into DNA metals that uh in, in the next series, but it is just kind of fucking weird. Honestly, to see, um, I, I, I love ale. Like, uh, I, I, I disapprove of the, the term waifu, but I, I do very much feel a uh, connection to playing the ale character. All right. Whoa, it's the falling's bad. Okay, you know what? We, we didn't find what we were looking for, so fuck this. I know there's a sub-tank somewhere in this stage. I'm certain there's a sub-tank somewhere in this stage. Did we end up, like, at a midpoint? Fuck. Okay, can I just go back? Yes, I can go back. Okay. It's near the start. Does that mean I have to go back? It means I have to go back. You should just, uh, game over and restart. Yes. But no, I'm obsessed. All right, classic remakes and overhaul. I am currently running a patch for Mega Man X, which takes advantage of the FX chip. In um, it it just uh, it basically lets the thing run at 60 FPS regardless of um, how many things are on screen. So there are no slowdowns in this version of Mega Man X. It's basically it. it th th this is the only difference. 
in this this uh, version of MMA, uh, Mega Man X I'm running is that no matter how many enemies are on screen, you don't get slowdowns. That's the only difference. Otherwise, it's functionally identical. When we get to X3, we'll be using the Zero Project, so uh, that's different. And, uh, of course, we'll be running uh, patches for X5, X, uh, and X6. The X6 patch is the most impactful because it makes you not hate the soul system. Um, but X7, unfortunately, is unsalvageable. And X8 uh, is decent enough, I guess. But we'll keep looking. Uh, you're, you're talking about Alia. Here's my wallpaper, okay? So, um, uh, yeah, Alia's the ale for the X series for me. <laughs> All right. And people are like, well, what about Roll? Do you like Roll for the original? She's, she's a little girl. M maybe if they had a grown up version of Roll, maybe. But uh, Iris is fucking nuts. She's one of those Yandere girls. <laughs> I mean, obviously, these these robots from the future are not romantic partners, but in terms of I like this character, um, yeah, I Iris is, goes fucking crazy. All right. They went full fan service with X-Dive. I wouldn't know anything about that, even though I took advantage of the Halloween event. Like, I, I did the first three levels of X-Dive. Then I took advantage of the Halloween event to unlock every character I liked and, and without paying any money. And then I never logged in since. So we'll do X-Dive at the end of our X-Series. Um, when, we, when we hit the very end, I'll just I'll have a, a level 3 account with all, all the characters unlocked for no fucking reason. Yes. Uh, are you talking about layer or palette? Palette is the... So, uh, basically, there are three navigators to offset the three main characters of X8. So, you get X, and her, his counterpart is Alia, who's the general navigator. Then you get Layer, who's the zero counterpart. She's got, like, skimpy armor or some shit. It looks terrible. But, um... Uh, she's got a crush on zero. And then palette is, um... Uh, w w w hold on. Let, let, let me get a good uh, picture for palette. G give me a second. I, like, I've um, I, I've got one that really fits, and I think you you all will appreciate. G give me a second here. So let, let me pull this up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly, e exactly. This is uh, here we go. So this this is the picture for palette. Okay. So um, yeah. Uh, like uh, I I hope you all understand. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the picture for pa yeah <laughs> there you go uh, anyway um she's the uh counterpart to axel and axel's cool that they keep like drip feeding his story about how he's like a new generation reploid and how he has all kinds of um you know like transformation abilities and and like but but they never went anywhere with his story and it, it just kind of dead ends at x uh, at, uh oh so so someone linked the, 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 uh, the ultimate Mavericks X the decisive battle. Yes, I know. I, I, I've seen that. Mm. Like Mega Man X corrupted. I, um, uh, JKB games, top quality content being made. Um, but yeah. No, no, no. I, uh, I, I, I have special feelings for Alia here. Uh, not, not waifu. No. No, no, just just like like the character a lot. Thank you. Okay, moving along. We're going to the end. Doo -doo. Okay. So this is the airship. Ow, it hurts. All right. So if you go down here through those gates, you'll start the boss battle. But let's go down here instead. Ta-da! Start the boss battle anyway, but with our full health. Yes. Okay. Batbird! What you gonna do? 
Yeah, you, you... That's fine. I can hit you on the way down, too. Yes. I'm just keep it up. Just keep it up, sir. Or not. What are you gonna do, throw your little, uh, eggs? Yeah. Ah, shit. I totally forgot about those. He's trying to push me off. Yeah, he keeps trying to push me off. Imagine if he went directly for you. Instead of, uh, like, occasionally changing up his pattern. That'd be nuts. Suppose I should actually start using, you know, normal attacks. Oh no, I got hit by one of his, uh, oh, he stopped his thing? Interesting. Cool. Yeah, we got him. I was doing stupid things, using ice when I didn't need to. Good. One more hit. The extreme games are a little floaty for me, but yeah, I agree, they're good. The problem is the screen is very small, so your inputs are very strong. That's how I want to put it. Like, let me see here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. We got it. Uh, I I rebound the dash to um uh, to my my shoulder button. So uh, what I can do is I can with one hand jump, shoot. So I you know with my uh, with my thumb, jump is on the bottom section of my thumb, and then the top section of my thumb is shoot. So it's one button for jump and shoot because Mega Man is jump and shoot man. That's what he does. He jumps and shoots. And then dash is just my uh, index finger here. So with one hand, I can control the dash, jump, shoot. And then the other hand is just for controlling direction. And also changing weapons if I have to on the other trigger. But anyway, um, do, 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 trying to figure out. Yeah, we're, we're going to go to uh, Mammoth Stage. Absolutely. Very good. See, it's been frozen over by Chill Penguin. This is normally an active uh, plant that's like lava's on the ground, right? Oh no, the floor is lava. No, it's not. It's been frozen. So it's uh, kind of cool in that sense. Like the, the boss order affects the uh, actual stages. It's something they kind of abandon in later uh, games, and then they bring back an X6, but in, like, the worst way possible. Yes. All right. 99% will see it not frozen over because of boots. It's true. All right, everybody. Uh, here we go. We're going to stop. We're going to make a save state because I refuse to start this stage over and over and over. So we made a save state. Now we're going up. See, if you screw this jump up, you are unable to do it again. And you have to start the stage over. This capsule contains a part. Very good. Did you know if you don't get this part, Zero gives you his arm cannon, which has the upgrade? It's true. Which will increase the capabilities of your X-Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. Very good. It auto, auto plays this part. It always gives you a demonstration of the ability. Okay, we gotta break that last block. There we go. Now I feel good. All right. I like a lot of X6. But, can't play it 
without patching it anymore. There are just some pat like actual factual patches that need to be done for it to be enjoyable for me. Um, let me see. Correct. In in later games, uh, uh, in the later games, you can go get 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 this shit. You can go to um, one of the capsules is zero, and uh, uh, Doctor Light will say. I don't, I don't have data on you, so I, I can't make any upgrades for you. And, and uh, Zero Ghost, I don't need any power-ups. Seriously, that's, that's a line in the video game. X5, I think. It's very, very silly. All right. But yes, suddenly, uh, for no reason, there's a shift, and Dr. Light starts talking to the characters... Like, actually communicating with them. Uh, you know, it, originally it's like, I, 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 I have left this message behind before I died. And suddenly, a sentient AI doctor man. I mean, what really seals the deal is when X uh, gets his memory wiped by, um, by Dr. Light, who fixes him in one of the endings. I'm just like, the fuck? All right. We got it. Hold on. Uh, yeah, get, give me a second. I'm gonna hit a button. Um, okay, it was Mega Man X six uh, ROM hack. Give me, give me a moment. Yeah, the thing is that it was supposed to be like a time split because if you look at like one ending leads to X six. One ending leads to him creating Elysium, which is the uh, in the uh, Mega Man Legends series, and um, then I think it's X Six that has the ending where Zero goes to sleep for two hundred years, and it's just like, okay, so you tried to tie all these to different endings. Um, uh, what which one leads to <laughs> to Mega Man X Command Mission? Because that that's my favorite. Uh, Get, get out of here, Sigma. Hello, Epsilon. <laughs> okay, get, give me a moment. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm looking through here. And what you want specifically, if we pull this up, uh, th this is the one we're talking about here. Hold on. Uh -hem. The Mega Man X6 Tweaks Project is a compilation of Coel Hacks. Gameplay improvements and localization restorations for Mega Man X6. Parts are no longer permanently missable. Yes, uh, let me see. Grinding's different. Story sequences are now split. Uh, uh, Dynamo's green orb drops have been increased, because if you're grinding Dynamo, you might as well get it over with. Uh, rescue, uh, here we go. <clears throat> Rescuable Reploids reappear after getting infected or killed. As if you've never encountered them. All rescuable reploids not holding any items are marked as missing at the start of the game. Drastically reducing the number of reploids clogging stages, keeping only the ones that matter. Rescuable reploids no longer give extra lives and health. Instead, you get a consistently higher number of lives from 2 normal, 4 with X tank, to 4 normal, 6 with X tank. Oops. Nightmare virus blue orbs will always appear, would normally reappear only after a nightmare. Effects has been activated for the corresponding stage. Blue orbs left alone won't turn back into a nightmare virus. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Shared character stats. X and Zero now share heart tanks. Life up parts. Energy up parts. Souls. And rank. Dash and air dashes with the hyper dash part equipped have been made a bit longer. Unarmored X and Shadow Armor now also have the ability to air dash. Height of Zero's Hyroga and Shadow Armor's ceiling jump has been increased, enough to reach Rainy. Turtleoid's ceiling. In other words, you can now complete any stage with any character. That's that's what that, that change actually means. Is you can complete any stage with any armor slash character combination
Uh, let's see here. Beating Nightmare Zero on LDL. Four unlocks Zero's black armor. This is coded in the original game. But the original Souls requirements for ranks, events wouldn't allow it to happen normally. When X and Zero reach rank up, the ultimate armor and black armor will be unlocked respectively. There you go. Uh, yeah, so. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and paste it into chat there for you. So if you, you are so interested, it is in the chat. Let's get back to the game. But yeah, I, I can't enjoy x6 without that patch anymore I, like i was barely able to enjoy x6 before it was like oh boy i'm glad that's over that's how i felt like when i when i finished x6 so mm. i'm actually able to enjoy the game now uh, amazing isn't it but it just shows like yes it is a bad mega man game amazing but true Anyway, I would have killed for them to make changes like that in the Anniversary Edition, but they didn't. I got uh, the, the PlayStation big, you know, giant Anniversary Bundle where it's all the games in one. But I never play it because um, I have access to all the old games, you know, individually. And I can, ha I can patch each one of them to do different things. Like the Anniversary Edition isn't eminently patchable in the same way, unfortunately. Hello. Damn it. There we go. Yeah, some of this is quite annoying. Haha, <laughs> no thanks. Do that again. There we go. It's boss time. Not as bad as X7. Uh okay. You 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 invoked you you invoked the Heinard. Um let, let, let me see here. Uh, um. <laughs> there, there you go. X7, everybody. That's that's all you need to know about X7. <laughs> Okay, okay, here we go. Oh no, I needed the boomerang! I needed the boomerang to cut off his trunk! I will never be able to play this game properly. Oh well. Reverse direction! Damn it. Yeah, he goes off screen and then it doesn't hit him anymore. I do like how he takes increased damage from this, though. Different weapons do different things. Amazing! Anyway. You get Flare Wave. Fire Wave. Wavy Wave. Sting Chameleon. Very good. I wonder if we can get the Hadouken. Won't be able to use it on the final boss or anything, but... Still. Uh, let's go. And by that I mean bombs. Yes. <laughs> All right. Why not? Cause I'll get my ass kicked. I'll take a hit and be unable to do the thing.
This is the only one that's gated behind a mini boss. He'll just keep jumping as long as you do max range. Otherwise, you're asking for pain. If you do anything but max range, you are asking for pain. Yeah, this is the enemy that's stomping the ceiling, too. It's quite silly. But yes, he has tons of health for no reason. I agree. Whoops. I'm thinking of all the ridiculous power moves you could do in later games. Or ways to deal with him. All right. Get zero out here. Do a slash combo. But yeah, this is the easiest way to deal with it. Because otherwise he uses his claw to grab you and or grab the wall and fly to it. Either way, once he starts going anywhere but the sides, the fight becomes unnecessarily difficult compared to just doing this, where he'll try to stomp you because you're out of his claw range. Yeah, if he ever ends up in the middle, it's irritating. That said, you see the speed of the smoke indicates how damaged he is. Very inconsistent. There we go. Now I stand here. And up I go. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. Video games. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ferrum from Command Mission. Yeah, I like her, too. She's got a good design. I can't wait to not make this. Yeah, we're, we're not we're not going to make this. Let's, let's do that again. Let's do what we did before. We're going to make a quick save state. Excuse me, save states are cheating. You can't say you're baiting the game if you use save states. Yeah, I know. Uh, that that ain't happening. Holy shit! I was looking at my jump height, and I'm like, nope, that that ain't happening. We gotta we gotta flood this area first. Come back, and we can get. That's a heart tank, right? Yeah. Okay. That's better. Let's just skip the, these guys entirely. Yeah. There we go. That's better. Take that. Those mats. Yes. Here we go. All right, we're going to do something cool really quick just to show off. So we go over here. And you see the way this guy's in his mech? pretty cool. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go off screen. And we're going to go over here and get out of our mech. Then we're going to charge up to full. And you're going to see him right here. He's not going to be in his mech. He's going to be... You see, look at that. Bam. And we stole his... We killed him and stole his mech. That's, that's how it works. If you're in the mech, he'll be ready to fight you. If you're not in the mech, he'll be like, the fuck? Because it makes a loud stomp, stomp, stomp noise. So, you know, he hears you coming or not. Bam. Still pretty cool. All right. Jump out. Go. I have no idea if I have what it takes to beat him. I'll try fire. Oh, boy. Ding chameleon. Excuse me. I want to hit you. Oh, uh, hitting him with the boomerang? Yeah, hitting him with the boomerang is how you're supposed to kill him. It's obvious now. It's obvious you're supposed to hit him with the boomerang. That said... Uh, yeah, about that. I'm gonna die! Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh boy. That's not great. What do you mean I can abuse sub tanks to stay alive through a boss battle I'm doing terrible at? Since when did they allow that in the X series? Oh, they allowed that since Mega Man 1. Really? Uh, Mega Man 2? Why don't they add E tanks? Mega Man 2? Uh, I'm pretty sure E tanks weren't in Mega Man 1. Yeah. Come on. I'm gonna die. Okay, check this shit out. So I'm gonna use an E-Tank. There's still some left. It doesn't consume the whole tank. It's based on a mount healed. Yes. <laughs> My game's different. <laughs> All right. Damn it. I hate that I released the attack key and then it just goes, hi, you got interrupted. How does that feel? It feels great. Thanks. Okay. Yay! What do you mean I'm terrible at the video game? Okay. We're at equal health thresholds. Isn't that delightful? There we go. That's as far as I can go. We did it, but that... The headphones are killing me when it's just an explosion on one side of the screen. It really is. Oh boy. Okay. Yep. Very good. Sting Chameleon defeated. Uh, Spock Mandrill is probably next. Hit him with ice over and over until he's dead. Uh, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yes, I was going to go back in here. Wait, why? I have a plan. I have a plan. That is not my plan. <laughs> a Met. Let's go Mets. Wait, what? Can't kill it that way. Hold on. Trying to find something. It's gonna drive me nuts. Uh, not this way. Hey, you, you like you like rocks falling from the sky? Peace. I love how the one rock guy is basically just a robot master uh, from a previous Mega Man game. Uh, jeez. Okay. Let's do this. For a second, I thought those rocks were going to kill me, but they're just occupying space. All right, here we go. Get out here. I was trying to do that. Yes. Do it again. Yeah, but this time don't hit me. Yeah, do it again. Okay, I kind of understand now. I was hoping you'd drop something for me, though. Come on, wormies. And of course I get hit, so it, it invalidates everything. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna give up. Give up living. Seriously. Yes. Without the helmet, those rocks hurt. Oh, it's the helmet that does that. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, I, I appreciate uh, that knowledge. I, I did not have it. See, see how random they are with when they spit those things out, though? 
Kind of nuts. I just need to keep going left and right, I think. Did they did they give up? Did they did they seriously just give up put it spitting those out? Wow, I thought that oh, and then I shot it. I did some damage to it and suddenly here we are. Okay then, apparently yeah, I I, I, I give up. I was gonna refill my sub tanks by doing that. I had this this grand idea in my head. I was gonna do the thing. And it, that was that was just a pain. Fuck that. We're just gonna go straight to Spark Mandrill. No no bother. No bother. Holy crap. I'm out. Good, good, good. Uh-huh. This is my favorite uh, song in the game, by the way. You can see the wreck of uh, Storm Eagle's ship, by the way. Storm Eagle's ship smashed into this place, and it uh, wrecked it, so now it gets power outages and stuff. Yep. I love this music. Hold on. Was I missing something at the beginning? Let me check something. Down here. Let me check. Okay, so there's a sub tank down there that needs the boomerang to grab. That's irritating, but we'll get it later. For now, let's beat uh, Spark Mandra. All right. The NES didn't have the capabilities of doing the kind of music that the SNES can do. The SNES kind of hit a sweet spot with the number of instruments available to it. Oh wow, I almost died. That was amazing. Yeah, that was, that was frightening. Okay. Don't get me wrong, there's some good NES songs. It's just, um... Again, the, the SNES hit that sweet spot where, uh... It was capable of more. Hello? Get, get up here. Excellent. Moving along. Yes, Castlevania 2 and 3 both had great songs. I agree, but you you, at, you didn't ask for uh, you know uh, what had good music. You you asked which one was better, and like I, I, I'm flashing back to the Twitter argument where it's like I like pancakes. Oh, so you say so fucking hate waffles then, huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yes. Come on. I don't see anything. Oh, here we go. We got him. Just barely. Just barely got him. Okay, so that thing wheels over a little bit. Gives you room. Okay, that's good. I don't know what hard upgrade you're talking about. Well, I guess we'll find out as we uh, progress through here. Yikes. The one I just ran by? Ran by. Ran by. Ran by. By. By Frost. Okay. Tricky, eh? <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's go. Ow, it hurts. 
Why? Hold on. I'm gonna get ready. Yes, jump and shoot, man. J jump and shoot. Fuck. That hurt a lot. Time to go kill Spark Mandrill with, uh, ice. Very good. Oh no! He hit me with a power punch! However, could I have foreseen his incredible attacks? That is terrifying. Truly, he is a boss of bosses. All right. Give him credit, he gave me a power punch to the face that I was not expecting. Okay. Electric Spock. What else we got? So we beat Spark Mandrill, which will allow us to take the shell off of this guy. Um. Forgot what we need. I think we need torpedoes for this guy. And I forgot. Uh, I, I think if you have the cutters, like his cutters, you can take off his. Uh, I, I don't know what any of this is anymore. Uh, or was it this that takes off? Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I, I, know that, I know that we can use electricity to take this guy's shell off, okay? I know that much. Rolling shield kills the octopus? Cool. So I know you can take the octopus's uh, tendrils off with something. I think it's the cutter. Remember all the slowdowns you used to get on this level? We're using the version that doesn't have slowdowns. It's the SNES version, but it's been patched for the FX Pro. Or whatever. So this stage has no slowdowns. Holy shit! Oh no! I missed the uh, health ups. That was slow DPS. No health ups for me, yikes. Come on. Give me more. All right. As a kid, you thought the slowdown was just to help you with the tough parts? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, too many sprites on screen at once. either slow down the game or uh, start stuttering. Is that it? One, one. We, we finished one. Good. Help. Come on. It's a good sub-tank place. Quite happy with it. Would be happier if, you know, it was done, but... There we go. We're done. We can go now. Ow. Immediately take damage! That's fine. Never count on a power-up when you really need it. Fuck! Okay. I uh, would love to stop hitting those. Could be fine. 
I think. Could be. Uh, flamethrower. Most excellent. There's that heart tank. Very good. I remember some of this. Definitely hits differently when you aren't slowing down. Okay. Damn. Stop hitting me, you bastard. Lose your shell. Start attacking normal like you're gonna die. He did, he's not invulnerable while he's doing his jumps now. So, there we go. We got it. Ooh. What must I say here? That's it. So, we got this boss to kill, then this one. Lunch octopus. Bam. We'll kill him with the rolling shield if we can. Be very sad if he catches us because he's doing tornadoes because we can't chop off his thing, my bobbers. We'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Yes. I do like this stage a lot. It gets really fun when we get in the water. Fuck. Ah. Forgot about those guys. Where's the mini boss? There's the mini boss. The coolest part is you can break off pieces of it. Depending on which weapons you're using. The searchlight, for example, is a pain. But I remember X2's boss, you can break off even more. By the way, you can get caught in that, kill it, and then go up. It will slowly drain your health if you don't kill it fast enough. But you can just use that to go over them. And instantly dead because we fell on spikes. I remember uh, uh, there there was a meme for a bit. It was um, New York City installs spikes uh, in order to um, in order to combat homeless people and Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. And it had a picture of uh, underneath one of the bridges, you know, they, it, where you'd normally have just kind of an incline. There's a bunch of spikes there. And you see Sonic the Hedgehog dying. Losing all his rings. Yes. It's really fucked up when you think about it, though. How cities install spikes so that uh, homeless people can't, you know, live. Alright. Moving along. This is another mini boss. 
This time it tries to pull you into the spikes. It's a jerk. Up we go. I said up we go. There. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. This side, nothing. Okay, we need to go up. We need to destroy this. Uh, yeah, about that. Uh, where, where's my, my fire? There we go. See all the spikes go away? And unlocks a new area. That's right. Now I have to fight a mini boss. And we'll get a thing. But Here we go. Okay. Give me your loot. Yes. Behold the heart tank. Let me uh, move on to the next area. Very cool. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. We can go now. Behold! What's this? Yes, this is the real t fight. The other one was like a super secret. Uh, you must fight for heart tank. This one is uh, just the, the actual fight. The required one for progression. The tail is always where the power-ups are. Say. Should be fine. Up, up, and away. No. Um, yeah, we're fine. Let's go with the rolling shield. Very good, very good. I wouldn't know anything about that myself, sorry. You going down. All right. Whoops. Damn it. That's it, shield time. Wait a second, that shield didn't do anything. You make me sad, video game. What do you mean he isn't as weak as Spark Mandrill? Oddly enough, he gets severely nerfed if you cut off his tendrils using uh, the Boomer Kowanger's ability. But yeah. We got the homing torpedo. Amazing. Incredible. Let me see. Last one. This is a Lightman stage. Yeah, they really stopped using vertical segments in the original Mega Man games. Um after a like man they were like yeah th th this is kind of bad afterward they started relying on uh, what do you call them gimmicks like bubbles and stuff for their vertical segments in the later uh entries of the classic Mega Man series this however this game comes with wall jump therefore yes goodbye No! Lasers everywhere! 
Skip the lasers. But yeah, this is a like man stage remixed basically. And I don't hate it. But without dash and wall jump, my god. Like, I played all of the Mega Man games up to X, and I thought they were kind of cool, like I had fun, but I was never really a fan of the Mega Man series until X. X made me a solid fan of the uh, Mega Man franchise. Damn it. We got it. I like how those little enemies become trash goblins in the next game. All right. Yeah, those little ladder creatures become trash goblins in the next one. They can also trigger you to use buttons against your will. Mm. Okay, everybody, the time has come. We're gonna save the game. We're gonna save the game, because this part, if you screw it up, I get very angry. I get very angry when I screw this part up. Fuck. <laughs> yes. Y you see what I mean? I've done this before. We did it. Okay. We can go now. But yes, I don't like this part at all. It's one of those things where I'm decent at it because I've done it enough times, but no point in time did I ever go, oh, yeah, this is okay, you know? Like, usually when people hit a skill, uh, a part of a skill curve, they, they, they change their tune. They go from, ah, that isn't, like, I hate this to, you know, it isn't that bad, right? That, that's, that's what happens to people. They, they undergo that transformation. No. No, I, I never like it. It's, it's always bad. Okay, we got the homing torpedoes. Let's do it. Yes, that's how we deal with them. Coming torpedoes. We got those from the octopus. Yes. And now we got the cutter. The cutter you can actually supercharge to cut off the um, the octopus's limbs, so it can't do the tornado anymore. You can also cut off the mammoth's tusk, so it can only jump around. But uh, you know, it's not really part of the boss order. Oh! Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. Let's go and put an end to his war against the humans. He is robot. Sigma. No information for Sigma. Where is Sigma stage located? It is located at him. Yeah, it's nowhere. Hold on. Uh... This one first. 
Go, go, go. Holy hell. All right, so I've got the sub tanks and the boomer, oh, uh, not boomer. Uh, I got the sub tanks in the, um, the flame place and the wind place. I know there's two more sub tanks. I just need to figure out where they are. First things first, though. I'm going to tear these down. Yay! More health. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. No delays. Sparkman. Okay, step one, heart tank. Is it heart tank or sub tank? I don't even fucking remember. Doesn't matter. Point is, we pick it up. Should be right over here. There it is. That is a sub tank. Okay. Cutter time. We got it. So. Let's see here. What else we got? Huh. Amadillo man. Fill my sub tank. With your delicious bat juice. Oh no. The sub tanks need to be filled with bat juice. Okay. Behold the... Oh, God, I forgot about that bat type. I was like, oh, shit, that is classic bat. All right. Someday, I'll go back and play the classic games. Someday. Someday. Okay, in the meantime... Bye! -ya! Very good. Let's go Mets. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Get over here, bats. Yes, yeah, salt. Chill Penguin's heart tank is up at the top. You gotta use the, uh, the fireball to break the uh, container there. You like how uh, the X-Bats look uh, less advanced? Correct. So, yeah. We gotta get to the second half of the Penguin stage, and then it's in one of these containers. If you look in the picture there, you see that container in the background? There'll be one in the foreground on top of a platform, and you gotta use the fireball launcher to kill it. Alternatively, if you don't have the fire weapon, you can actually finagle one of those ride chasers up onto the top and use it to punch the thing. But it's very difficult and it's not intended. Yes. All right. How do I know this? It's because I've done it. A long, long time ago. More bats. Our sub tanks are full. We're good. Should be fine, says I. Says I. No idea. 
Whoops. Up if I hit the buttons in the correct order. I like how life ups, like, extra lives just don't do anything anymore. <laughs> you got nine of them. You're a cat. All right. Oh, no! It's technically ten lives because those are extra lives. How do I know this? I have gotten many a game overs trying to finagle boss order. Intentional uh, game overs, I mean. Okay. So we gotta play the Yoshi trick. We gotta jump up here. And then do... Uh... Oops. That didn't work. Okay. Whatever. We're gonna kill them. I saw what you were trying to do, sir. Doesn't matter. We go up here. And we make the jump here. Bam. Uh, fireball. Wait. It should be this one. There it is. Okay. Awesome. And that should be everything. So now I have to go through the stage, like, I don't know, four or five times, something like that. Like, I, I, I gotta go through, like, this stage multiple times, then die, then go back, then die, and repeat until I get the, the thingamabobber. Yep. Jump on the cliff. Uh, you don't need to exit the stage. Well, you die, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was pretty sure... <laughs> Glorious. I can't afford to lose too many lives, unfortunately. Can't afford it. I, I I need at least seven lives, or sorry, six lives, with the the zero being the final life. Fuck. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. We're fine. Uh, we we kill the met. Then we go heal up. I think we got everything. I don't know if we have everything, but I'm gonna assume we do. Fucking hell. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, I see what that was. Damn, damn. Goodness gracious. Uh, need to hit this until we go to flamethrower, and we're good. That's it. Didn't work. Try again. This should be the spot. Okay. So what we do is we do the leap. Oh, God! Okay, so that's one. Oh, no. Too late. We fucked it up. We fucked it up. Game over. Game over for us. We have to do the stage again. R rip and pieces. Rip and pieces. Ripperoni. Let's keep doing it. Uh, yeah, Forte was uh, an interesting character, how he was supposed to be sentient and all. And of course, you had Duo, who was just a straight up alien robot. Um,. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't fucking know. I think they, they ran out of ideas and they didn't quite know what they were doing. But yeah, I mean, For, Forte was straight up a sentient robot who uh, very much defied his master's commands. So I don't know. The English dub cutscenes. <laughs> hey, Ben, 
Yes, why must I fight you? We are not enemies. Shut up. Ahem. Let's see. These are energy resources. I've never seen this kind on Earth. You must recover the energy immediately, what, Mega Man? I mean, you know, usually when I make a mistake like that, I have to question, like, should I re-record that part? Or should I try to, like, fix it in editing? Or sometimes I'll just let it go through, right? It depends on how much I want to actually fuck around with the footage, or am I satisfied with the video? Like, sometimes I'll let ums, ers, or whatever go through the video, like, through the final version of the video, and I don't care too much. But when you're making a professional product that you intend on selling people, yeah, I don't care if people hear me fuck up. Uh, they hear me do that on stream all the, the time, so I don't mind. But yeah, <laughs> you must recover the energy at me, what, Mega Man? All right. I mean, here's the thing, though. Like, Mega Man X4 is terrible, but you can tell they tried to be professional. They they made the attempt. Cool, that's one. Goodbye. We did it in time to not get it. Yes. After him, he is my nemesis. Our rivalry is what gives me motivation in life. Now go, destroy him. That's an order. Oh boy. <clears throat> Oh, don't, don't forget about Zero telling them to stop the coop now. You know, a coup d'etat? Stop the coop now. That's right. Okay. Oh, I did even better than last time, even though I took damage at the beginning. I don't know what that is. The day of Sigma animation is cool. Yes, it is, it is pretty cool, but at the same time, I don't like the retcons. I don't like the fact that they kill off Dr. Kane, even though Dr. Kane's hanging around in, you know, X2 and 3. I mean, retcons are cool when they have a purpose, right? Like, when they enrich the plot in some way. But you have one less character to have dynamics with. That makes the game worse, not better. Dr. Doppler was Dr. Kane all along. Dun, dun, dun. No, that, that never took off, correct. And then what's his name uh, was exiled from Capcom after uh, Mega Man. Whoop! Here we go. I give you a special present. Now enter the capsule, please. the PSP reboot flopped well it looked ugly as sin 
I will always prefer high quality 2D over low quality 3D. Don't get me wrong. Give me high quality 3D that actually meshes together. We're talking like million dollar, you know, like 10 million dollar plus production values. And I will actually like 3D. But otherwise, make some really cool 2D pixel art and I'll love it. All right. X7 uh, and 8 are also ugly as sin, but not as ugly. And remember, I don't usually judge games based on their graphics. Uh, let me see here. We're going to make a save state here since we successfully did the thing. Let's split up. I'll go in first, and you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. Imagine if you see him in the background uh, doing dashes as, like, a whole horde of enemies chases him. <laughs> like, and you see big, like, beam cannons shooting at him as he's, like, dodging left and right. Do a little cutscene. You wouldn't like Daggerfall if you judged it based on... Yeah, of course. Obviously. But we're playing Jump and Shoot Man. I like Mega Man Legends. It's simplistic, but it it understands that it doesn't need to be cumbersome, you know? Like, uh, everything in uh, the reboot, uh, the, the Mega Man X reboot, looks gigantic and clunky. Everything in uh, Mega Man Legends looks sleek by comparison. I'm not saying everything in Mega Man Legends is sleek. I'm saying everything slimmed down and fits in the game area. But, I mean, the Mega Man X reboot looks like someone's uh, playing around with their Duplos. You know what I mean? Like, okay, we are now going to begin the save state spam. This is the part of the game I hate, and this is the part of the game where I abuse save states. If I die, I'm just going to reload. All right. Fuck. Nope. Come on. Okay. We did it. I'm better than I remember being. I'm still going to make a safe state at the end of it, though. <laughs> okay. Come on. Wasn't there like an illegal Mega Man, um, an illegal Mega Man, um, like Brazilian comic or some shit, which had a lot of naked roll? Uh, I, I remember that shit being a thing. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me let me pull up my uh, my meme for that. I believe I, I I have a yeah. Here we go. Same meme for palette. There we go. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, let's get going. Big fight time, everybody. There's Vile. Stay back, X. I'll take him on.
All right, so um, yeah, Zero's going to have to hide himself while he tries to repair himself. Uh, fucking terrible translation. Um, now, uh, what were we talking about? Ah, uh, yes. Um, jeez, the well, what, what, what it's, it's, it's weak to the homing or the sting at the end? Um, the um, I, I, God, I don't remember. X, do what I tell you or he's history. Don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him. Remon Zero, X knows he can't defeat me. My armored carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons. I mean, it's true, but no, I'm trying to remember what he's weak to in his second form, and I just can't remember for the life of me. In any case, we just need to hang out here. Yep. The more health you have, the longer it takes for him to whittle you down. Here we go. Hey, 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 hey. Maybe, but I'm not through yet. What a worthless gesture. I can't believe believe it. I can't but can't be defeated so easily. So X, it's just you and me now. What the Where did that plot device energy come from? It allows you to continue playing the video game. It doesn't really matter how much energy you absorb, X. You're still far too weak. Prepare to be terminated. Bam! Yes, I love, um, I, I love Vile in the second game, uh, sorry, in the third game. Um, as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't come back in the eighth game, because that's really fucking stupid. Uh, if anything, it should have been a, um, wh wh what, are, what are those creatures called? Uh, uh, one of those new generation Reploids disguises him, but they aren't, because rule of cool, I guess. Mm-hmm. Let's go. X, I've taken too much damage. Auto repair systems can't handle it. My power is fading fast. If you didn't get the buster upgrade, then you will get his arm cannon. But because we already have the arm cannon, your power is greater than I thought. Maybe you can destroy Sigma. Yes. And his arm cannon isn't any functionally different than this, you know, the this particular one. So yeah. Don't worry, because he'll be in three pieces in the next game, with his fourth piece, the control chip, being stored at Dr. Kane's lab. And we'll have to go collect his parts from the X Hunters, a, an organization specifically dedicated to killing X for reasons. Damn. Fuck. Fuck. I'm gonna die. Got an extra life. So now after I die, everything will be fine.
Hey, at least it's not, like, n nothing they've made in Mega Man is as bad as Transformers, that, that, the Kiss Players thing that exists. And its existence offends me. Okay. Here we go. Moving along. My favorite part is how it just doesn't give a shit. You Sting Chameleon Invincibility here? I completely understand why, holy crap. Missiles! That's health over there. It's too late, it's off screen, it's gone. Now what can we use to kill the big spider robot? Oh god, there's no robot here. It's... It's Missile Man. Amazing. I much, much prefer this to the terrible teleporters they use in successive games. Here's a room full of teleporters. Enjoy your boss rush. I prefer organically running across them again. I think that's cooler. Much cooler. It's the Mets. Okay. No! Okay. We should be good now. Well, our goal is to get these guys from off screen to appear. And then I kill them. And then I get their loot. And that's, that's literally how this works. Excuse me. Please die, thanks. Yes! That, that's, that's what we're doing. Should be easy, see? Good, we're done. I mean, we're not done done, but at least I'm not on the verge of death anymore. Spider-Man time thing. The spider thing. Um, jeez, I don't know what this thing's weak to. Ha. Huh. Right. Here we go. Maybe shotgun. Based on the fact that these little spiderlings appear. Yeah, it's definitely shotgun. Yeah, we're good. Damn it. If you get hit, you don't have the opportunity to fight back. Drives me nutters. Okay. At the very least, we got sub tanks, so we can survive a war of attrition with this bastard. You know, if we actually... Oh, boy, this is not great. Yeah. I'm annoyed now. Thankfully, the sub-tanks will see us through this nonsense, but still, it's grumble, grumble. Yeah. Come on. It'd be cool if you could put the ice platform down and stun it, like, or just have it crash into the ice platform. That would be fun. This is fine. One more to go. Or not. That was a pain. A real pain. Route.
All right. Sheng indeed. Armadillo stage. It's armadillo time. Was it Mega Man 1 that you could refight the bosses whenever you wanted? Like every time you went back to the stage, it was a refight? I, uh, I like the idea of being able to refight bosses that in a more controlled environment. We're done. We got our sub-tanks up. Bam. Okay, savey statey. Savey statey. Go. I like the music to Mega Man X2's um, Maverick uh, X Hunter stage. I think it's the second level. This isn't it. I mean, this is good music. But uh, isn't what I had in mind originally. Here we go. Good. Okay, up, up, and away. What do we get? Penguin, it's fire time. Oh, no. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts so much, I keep getting hit by the penguin when I shouldn't. Good. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm interrupting him whenever he does anything but slide. Slide, I can't interrupt him. But I can interrupt every other action he can do, besides slide. Very silly. I'll take your mech. <laughs> As we get uh, these big mechs coming around. Hey, stop it. Damn. That guy went up there. Where is he? Where's the bastard? What's up here? Yes, the Big Macs in X are pretty cool. It's why they made an entire system uh, in X3 uh, where you can choose which version of the uh, mech you want at uh, mech spawning platforms. It's actually a really cool mechanic that basically nobody uses. It's only required for a couple special power-ups and nothing else. Uh, let me see. What's required to kill Birdman? I'm going to use Sting Chameleon and see what happens. safe to say the comic is non-canon and has been replaced with the Day of Sigma. <laughs> Alright, let me check something really quick. Oh boy. Let's go! Bats. No! 
I wanted to do this and get the bat to uh, be a valid target and just use that. To, uh, yeah. I wanted to go down and then up like that. Yeah. The game is like, hey, how about you not do that? And instead die a horrible death. Down and up. Come on. There's some health. That's what I'm talking about. There's a reason the game stopped respawning monsters so quickly. All right. Okay. Moving along. Ow, it hurts! Why you do this? Batty bats. Okay. Um, can I, can I please just, just... No, apparently not. I, I cannot just... If I do this... Nope, there's nothing there. We gotta keep fighting. Gotta go! What boss is this, I wonder? Oh, no. What was the... Oh, st Sting Chameleon. No, not Sting Chameleon? Okay, maybe, maybe this one's Sting Chameleon? I don't fucking know! Okay. There we go. I actually got a hit in. Amazing. I didn't think that was possible. Okay. Final one. Activate! We got it. I don't mind expanding on a universe, you know, where you, you add new characters that aren't necessarily present in the games. I kind of mind when we start, uh, um, when they aren't used to any point and purpose. Let me see here. Oh, no, we can leave. I don't need to be here. I thought I need to regenerate uh, sub-tanks. Like, um... I think, like, Overwatch, for example, they introduce characters, and what is the point of them to say, Oh, look! Tracer has a girlfriend! She's gay! Okay, well, what does... How does this affect her character? And I've, I've said this before. I don't mind that Tracer is gay and has a girlfriend. I mind that they introduce this fact and then do nothing with it. Like, I, I said earlier, um, what if, for example, Tracer's girlfriend was against her fighting and, you know, rebuilding the Overwatch? You know, maybe she wants to make sure her girlfriend is safe more than anything else, and it causes a point of uh, contention between the two of them. You know, they are, uh, like, it, it is a, an issue with their relationship, you, you know? Um, that, that has to be resolved. Uh, you said it isn't canon in China. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. But uh, Blizzard lost their partner in China, so there won't be any more Chinese Blizzard products unless they, uh, uh, unless they uh, really, really suck up and apologize. But yeah, Overwatch has a story, but the story, like the the gameplay, is non-canon to Overwatch's story. So I'm like. Are you going to actually do anything with it? Like, you know, expand on it? No. You know my favorite thing? I was in the store the other day, and I saw an Overwatch comic in the store, and it said, McCree, issue one. And I'm just thinking, I, I, I kind of want to get the McCree comic and just leave it in the box so I can just hold up McCree. Not Cole Cassidy, McCree. I mean, I'm not glorifying a man who did bad things. I'm saying it doesn't fucking matter. Anyway. 
Let me see here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, gonna save the game again because I feel like that's a smart thing to do. And we go. They should have made a story mode for Overwatch 2. They said they were going to. A lot of people bought Overwatch 2 under false pretenses that they were going to get one. We call that fraud? Fraud? Yes, we call it fraud. When you purchase a thing under false pretenses. It's coming soon, TM. Oh, boy. Oh, no. It's the armadillo, man. You lose your everything. I used up all my charge, so I didn't care. I just wanted it dead. You were very inefficient. He had iframes, you know. Yeah, I, I didn't care. I, ju I just kept hitting the button straight through his iframes. You know, it's funny that he gets iframes for that, and Spark Mandrill doesn't. Take a moment and think about that. Very unfair. Spark Mandrill has the best music in the game. Yeah, did him dirty. It's the chameleon. What do you mean his AI is exploitable so he gets caught in an endless loop of jumping up? That's lame. Yes, yes it is. Okay, can we please just kill him now? Thanks. Oh, I, it went down instead of up. That's just glorious. Okay. And, and then it went over him this time. This is delightful. Okay, I'm just going to hit him with it if he's uh, below a certain height. Yeah. There we go. We got him. Good. But yeah, Blizzard lost their... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um... Blizzard lost their partner in China because apparently they were extremely disrespectful. And it turns out, yes, um, if you want to do business in China, you got to be respectful to your partners or they're just going to say, it's fuck you. And that's what they did. They told Blizzard to fuck off. Damn. Hold on. I wish I understood how this weapon worked a little better. There we go. It's Spark Mandrel! Oh no, I hit the wrong button. Spark Mandrel will destroy me now. Just kidding. Oh wow, he crushed me while he was frozen. That was special. We got him now. Very good. Jump and shoot, man. Jump and shoot. I like how you can tell it's Lunch Octopus next. Gotta say, Lunch is a uh, pretty fun Dragon Ball character they forgot existed. They also changed your name to Launch because, you know, uh, they, like, they don't respect Akira Toriyama's uh, hunger. You see, Akira Toriyama hungers uh, for... Uh, 
you, you know, uh, 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 Kakarot is the, uh, the carrots, the Vegeta is the vegetables, the, uh, you know, uh, rat, radish, rat, raditz is a radish, so on and so forth. Like, all the Dragon Ball characters were, were all food-based. Now, Bulma was bloomers, right? Because, obviously, yeah, you, you know, Dr. Brief, uh, and so on and so forth, but... Um, yeah, so, so he had an underwear uh, fetish, and he also was very, very hungry. And that's why uh, Lunch's name was Lunch, and not, you know, Launch. There's a, a precedent for this shit. Alright, here we go. We're gonna cut his tendrils off! I love this, this animation, though. Look at this shit. He's like, you, going down. Oh no. Was he supposed to lose his tendrils? I was pretty sure he was supposed to lose them. What the hell? There we go. We ripped off his tendrils. Now we can go using the rolling shield. He will never use the tornado again. He will just continue to throw missiles at me. This may be stronger than I thought. We win. Android 18 was a great concept until they just killed him for no reason. Well, they killed him so that Gohan could achieve his maximum power. Gohan never interacted with 18. Gohan has no idea who this guy is. Oh, sorry, 19? 16? S 16. Uh, sorry. I don't remember the numbers of robots. Okay, Android 18's the girl, right? Yeah, there is a shit ton of porn of her cheating on Krillin. I, I'm aware of this for reasons I shouldn't be. But I am, but I am aware of it. Okay. My favorite part is how this is all killing me. Yep, this way. It's Mammoth Man. Let's try to cut off his trunk. Yes. Did it work? Apparently not. Why are you doing this? There we go. He lost his uh, trunk now. He can no longer trunk. Um... Yes. Fuck, I keep walking into it. Very good. I count in the refights, at least, we can take advantage of the cutters to do cutter things. Definitely couldn't before. Oh no! I forgot what this thing is weak to. It's weak to smashing your face. Oh, wait, what? Oh no. Energy balls! Let me see here. Fire and war. That is bad. Got it. Oh. That hurt. What else? E-spark. 
That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. At least it wouldn't be bad if it weren't doing all this crazy shit. Still not as bad as the uh, Neon Devil or whatever it was. Uh, humming missiles! Goodbye! Humming missiles! Tool for the lazy! Don't care about positioning? Very good. Let's go to the armadillo stage. We must do the thing. Come on. Anything else? Probably not. It has a power up built into level. Yes, it's terrible. You have to you have to go and do the armadillo charge and then you just stand on the on the tube and let it feed you. I don't like it. Who was the first person to think to use memory in games? I mean, The Legend of Zelda has memory. So I don't fucking know. Uh, it really depends on uh, what you're doing there. Save state slot to zero. But yes, the worms do spawn, I remember. What you do is you do this. You do rolling shield. Like this. And then you just jump up and then the, the little the thing just keeps producing them infinitely. And you can abuse this, absolutely, but it takes fucking forever compared to just killing a bunch of bats real quick. Okay, good news, everybody. We are going to select State 1, and we're saving on State 1. All right. Du -du -du. Yes. The dog is weak to ice. Good. Welcome! I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. I could destroy you, but I'd not rob my pet of that pleasure. He knows how to deal with betrayers. Should you live, I'll be waiting for you. Don't disappoint me, Axe. Oh, I was going to uh, do the Hadouken, but I can't do it while the ice is active. Or I just suck at the input. One of the two. Fine, I, I can't do it now that I've been hit. But, uh, whatever. Hmm. Excellent job, X. I can see why Zero counted on you. You're almost as good a hunter as I was. But that time of your destruction has arrived. You shall regret ever having defied me. Lightsaber! Um. Hmm. No. Bad man. It's gonna drive me nuts. I'm going to die. Sigma. Okay, get, get up here. Get up here, Sigma. Yes, get up. Get up here, Sigma. Do your job. Get up here. Come on. Fuck. 
Yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh boy. His head's going into Anubis. Big Mecca. Tier three, charge shot. I, I, I said tier three charge shot. What the fuck are you doing, game? I try to do tier three charge shot and the game says, hey, how would you like to not do damage at all? And I said, that sounds awful. Isn't it though? Isn't it? I'm dead. Okay, let's try again. Nope. Nope. It didn't work. It didn't work, you bastards. That that's it. I'm uh I'm very sad now. I'm very sad now. I just wanted to hit him with the Hadouken. There we go. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, he, he ain't he ain't taking the Hadouken. All right. Damn it. Really? That's terrible. Man, I get that's my bad. I totally get it. I'm just grumbling about it. <laughs> no. We wait up here. Then we drop down. As we jump by, we throw one extra. So we hit him twice. Very silly. Okay. I'm not doing this shit again. Here we go. Save. We're good. This is why Zero gives you his arm cannon, by the way. Sigma's only weak to tier three shots. Unfortunately, I just got flamed. <laughs> yes. What do you mean I'm getting hit by the electric? Oh, rolling shield hits it? Okay. I thought it was only tier 3 shots. Shows what I know about this video game. I'm not a real hashtag gamer, as you know. Oh boy. Well, that hurt. Okay. Damn it! I'm very lucky to have remembered how to get the Hadouken in the first place. I'll never have the opportunity to use it properly because I always take damage. But it is funny nonetheless. I, I tried to use it just now and instead I used my rolling shield! Oh boy, so li literally we hang out on the side here. And then we just, yeah, don't get hit by it. 
See, that, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the Hadouken. But you have to time it just right, and you have to be in the correct spot. And it's like, it's never going to happen to me. I'm never going to be in just the right spot to do it. See? It's just, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. Okay. I couldn't imagine playing this on the phone. I played this with a keyboard and mouse before, and it was difficult enough. But, uh, no, I couldn't imagine. Oh, boy. That, that hurt. Damn it. My favorite part is how I get hit, and it interrupts what I'm doing. Like, were you shooting? No, you weren't. You definitely weren't shooting. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that part's great, too. Oh, boy. Yeah, the thing goes and, uh... Damn it. We got him. Oh, that was annoying. No, it's not possible. I'm a Reploid. I can't be destroyed by you. You can't be destroyed by the original. Reploids are replicated from X. Why X? Why have you done this to us? Without the humans, my Reploid brothers could have ushered in a new age. I love this music, by the way. This is the good shit. The war has ended for now, and peace has been restored. But to those who sacrifice themselves for the victory will never return. I, uh, I hid myself while I tried to repair myself. An exhausted ex gazes at the destruction he helped cause and wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? No. No, seriously, there wasn't. Standing on the cliff, the answer seemed to escape him. He only knows that he'll fight the Mavericks again before he finds his answer. How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? Maybe only the X-Buster on his arm or hand knows for sure. I was going to say arm. Arm cannon. Yes. Spiky Crusher, Ball of Vox, Bee Blader, Utuboros, Tombot. Oh, I, I like me some Tombots, that's for sure. Troll -a -lo -lo -lo. Turn Cannon, and Thunder Slimer, Sky Claw, and Death Rummager. Oh no. Rolling. Yeah, y'all. Okay. Yeah, I, the C15 is best. Uh, next up, it's the Ladder Yadder. Ace Max. Mad Pecker. 
Got those mad peckers, yes. Bob spider. It's a boss spider, oh no. Remember those you have killed, Chell Penguin. Launch Octopus. With a Y at the end. Storm Eagle. Looks the coolest in my opinion. Armored Armadillo. Flame Mammoth. Ding Chameleon. Bark Mandrill. Boomer Kowanger. Vile. And the one I'll be fighting next game, Sigma and Zero. I will never get all of Zero's parts. Cool. It's not over yet. And you, as Mega Man X. Rockman X? Rockman X. Let's get to those credits. We're not done. That TV in the background is important. We aren't done yet. Professor F. Forgot about Professor F. Market planners. Those are important. Thanks for playing by Capcom. Wait for it. It's not done. It's not over yet. That television in the background is important. to wait. You have won a temporary victory, X. What you destroyed was only a temporary body. My spirit remains intact. In time, I will find other bodies strong enough to do my bidding, and I will return, and I will see you soon, X. Very soon. Game over, everybody. That is Mega Man X, the first game in the X series. After Mega Man 9, this was going to be Mega Man 10, and then they made a Mega Man 10. So, you know, that, that kind of went out the window. But it's fine, because X is awesome. And uh, nothing else to say about that. It's uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, i um, going to take a break. I'll be back soon with uh, Mega Man X2. See y'all later.